Hello and welcome to this beginner's series of videos for Affinity Photo. To kick off this short course, we're going to go right to the basics and look at opening and saving your images. So we've taken our images and transferred them from the camera to the computer. When we start Affinity Photo, we're faced with a blank interface. This is just because we don't have an image loaded yet. So, to open an image, the easiest approach for us is to go to the File menu, then choose the Open option. OK, so we can navigate to the directory where we copied our images across to, and from there we can highlight an image that we want to open, then click the Open button. So our image is now loaded. With our image open then, say we picked up a paintbrush tool, loaded up a colour and altered the image slightly. We could then save the image by going to the file menu and choosing save. But this really isn't the best approach because we will now have overwritten that image file. The changes we've made would be permanent, and the next time we opened that image, we would be stuck with those changes, whether we liked them or not. This is known as a destructive approach to image editing. So rather than saving, let's look at a different approach. We'll undo that paintbrush work we've just done. And this time, we'll go to the File menu and we'll choose Save As. We'll then be prompted to save our image as an Affinity Photo document. So keeping the same name here, we can click the Save button and our new document file will be created. Now, any work we do will be saved to this new file, rather than overwriting our original image file. It might sound complicated, but think of this document format as an image editing equivalent of a word processor document. It stores your work, and you can chop and change it around and alter the formatting at will. Ideally, we want to be saving to this Affinity Photo document format whenever possible, as it allows us to take full advantage of Photo's workflow features, including layers, which we'll explore in more detail in the Layers video. Once we're working with a document file and we alter our image, we can then use the normal Save option on the File menu as opposed to Save As, since we're no longer at risk of overwriting the original image file. So, now that we've gone through opening and saving images, it's time to move on to editing them. Before we jump straight in though, we'll want to look at layers, as they are a vital step in understanding the image editing workflow in Affinity Photo. See the next video titled Layers for more information. Thank you for watching.